Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and as you can see, um, this will be the flight of the um, Dreamcatcher frame with hubs and X4 electronics, because um, I did a review and unboxing and unbuild of this before, but um, actually one of the motors broke, um, like the wires, so I ordered new motors from China a little bit, quite a while ago, so now I got them in, been test flying this, and I wanted to show you the flight, so I'm in, indoors right now to do a stability test, and then I'll take it outside, so um, let's test it out and I've got the rates at the lowest they can possibly be I've got 20% on low rates and 60% on high rates this is low rates right here trim it out a little bit a little bit of trim right, here I'll recalibrate real quick see. there we go recalibrated yeah I just need to recalibrate it now my trim is basically reversed. Okay, as you can see, it's a little bit um, noisy, but that's just the nature of these hubs and props. Um, it vibrates a little more on the outside, but as you can see, it's still really stable, just like the original hubs in that's hands off. You can see it's drifting a little bit, but all quads do that don't have GPS. There is 20% yaw, it's full stick. Um, I have the rates toned all the way down, so that's the lowest yaw you're going to get on this. And there is 60% yaw, so even at 60, it has a really nice fast yaw, faster than most quads. Um, here's the, that's full pitch, 20%, it's full forward, full left, full right, so really slow on the pitch. Here's 60%, so you can see, still pretty low on the pitch, but you can turn that even 40% higher, and it's, it like, way more than doubles, so. Um, yeah, it's a nice, um, I wouldn't really recommend it indoors, because chipping the props, um, just, it's so easy if you hit anything to chip the props. I mean, it flies really stable, really nice. It's a nice 60% funnel right there. Um, yeah, it just flies really nice. It, um, improves the performance from the original stock frame. You get more power and more, um, flight time and faster speeds. Um, so yeah, I think that was a good enough indoor flight demonstration. I'm not going to do a flip indoors just because sometimes it doesn't like it and I don't want to bust up my props. So now I'll take you outside and show you what it can do. Let's go check that out. Okay, here we are outdoors with the Hubs and X4 on the Dreamcatcher frame from Micromoto Warehouse. And you might be able to hear it, I'm not sure but if you can, but it's pretty pretty windy out right now. But I, um, So that'll um, let you know how this handles the wind and I'm starting off right in 100% rates just because of the, it's really windy right now. So. Here is, uh, I think, I, I believe I set that to 85% yaw. That's 100% pitch, so you can see that's a really nice tight funnel you got there. Wind's blowing it. Um, but, yeah, there's 100% pitch. As you can see, the gyro is really snappy, which is what I didn't like about this, and which is why I like the JJRC-1000A more. You can see it's really snappy, but it um, does okay in high speed. You just can't do too quick of changes and turns. Like, you can accelerate fast. Like that but and this battery is not full same one I used indoors but I didn't have time to charge it sorry if you can't see this too well it's not the brightest out right now and there's a the sun over to my left but as you can see uh, I'm flying 100% rates and it goes pretty fast it can it can definitely move so it's definitely a nice frame that'll make it faster but okay let's uh, try some flips Oops, nope, no flip. I got a uh, low battery, I guess. The, the flips are about the same. It just recovers a little bit better. Um, and you can't do, you can't do uh, double flips like you can on most other quads. Just because the gyro, it just gets out of control. And then um, it'll fall and crash into the ground. And as, like I said, I have LVC. And that's the one other thing I found weird about this. You get LVC really early. I'm not sure. I'm, it must be the board, but... You get LVC really early. <laughs> of course, now right at like the end of the video, it's uh, the sun came up out of the clouds, so it's brightening up. Probably can't see that right now, but uh, yeah, the, that's about it. Looks pretty cool. It flies really well, and it's just overall a really, really nice, good frame from Micromoto Warehouse. So I'll, I'll leave a, per a link to purchase it below and check it out, and I'll leave a link to my review and build of this. So if you want to do this, I'll uh, explain how to do it in those videos. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And uh, give the video a like if you found it entertaining or helpful. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.